In this lesson, we're going to talk about the board breaking setup for a knife hand inward front strike or a knife hand outward front strike. So if you have a machine that you can use to hold the boards for you, then you're going to put the board into the machine. Very important that the grain is going this way in a horizontal direction. If the grain is going the opposite direction, the board is never going to break. So have to be working with the grain. Uh, from here, when you do the technique, if you want to do right hand, then you're going to position yourself in front of the machine, or I should say to the side of the machine, if this is the front. You're going to be right to the side of the machine like this. You're going to come up and you're going to come across and aim for the center of the board, right like that. That is knife hand inward front strike. So coming from here, coming around and striking, okay? That is the setup if you have a machine that's what we want to see, okay? If you want to do knife hand outward front strike, you're going to position yourself almost in the same position again, but this time coming around this way and coming out and then striking the board. Again, being right in the center of the board. The more off-center you go, the more difficult it's going to be on you to be able to break it. So you want to hit it right in the middle. When it's supported top and bottom, you want to hit it dead center. And that's what this machine does. It supports the four corners of the board so that it's weakest in the middle. So common sense that you want to hit it in the middle. So from here, coming across and striking. Uh, unfortunately, my machine is not height adjustable but this should be either head or neck level. So this is a little bit too low for here. Should be up a little bit more like this. Uh, I can't adjust mine unless I put it on blocks. Mine is just a, a crude machine here, but this, this is the setup for knife hand outward front strike. And of course, you're welcome to do regular or reverse on either of these techniques, whatever works best for you if you want to do reverse and go opposite hand opposite foot come around just like this that's fine uh, always remember to key up when you're ready to break so and then come around and put everything you've got into it so don't think in your mind that it's just one board therefore it's going to be easy that's when problems start that's when you get hurt so Look at it and say to yourself, imagine that there's 10 boards here and you have to hit it with everything you've got to get through this and destroy that board. So always, always, always go maximum power when you're doing board breaking. Don't, don't look at it and say, well, it's just one board so I can go 50% power and that ought to be enough. Injuries happen when you are in those in between areas. When you commit to it, you commit all the way, right? No holding back, no halfway to it. You commit all the way to the board break and you put 100% into it. So that's if you have, that's if you have a machine, what the setup looks like. If you have a board holder, the board holder is going to stand and they're going to be like this. So I'll show it right to the camera here. So holding the top of the board, notice the fingers are not like this. You don't want to have your fingers out here because they're going to get crushed. You want to have your fingers as close to the top and bottom of the board as you can get. You can see where my hands are behind the board. Okay. Looking at this very, very carefully, okay? Don't have your fingers down here in the way. Get them up out of the way. I'm basically just touching the board with my fingernails is all I'm touching it with. And then on the back, you can see how it's sitting in my palm. 
and I'm holding it in the palm. So from here, one board holder is plenty if you're breaking a single board. But for here, again, making sure the grain is going horizontal, holding top and bottom, bringing this board up to head level, and locking out the arms at the elbows. So locking the arms, and then turn your head off to the side. And it also helps to close your eyes. So for the person that's holding the board, you don't want to see the person doing the technique as they're coming in because people have a tendency to flinch. They see the attack coming and then they, they do this, you know, they, they shy away from it. So you don't want that to happen. So when you're holding the board, for the board holder, hold the board solid, lock your arms out in front of you as tight as you can, turn your head to the side and close your eyes because there are wood splinters and all sorts of stuff that will come off the board when it breaks. You don't want to get hit in the face with the board pieces. You don't want to get wood splinters into your eyes. That sucks. So from here, hold the board, turn your head to the side, close your eyes just like this and hold that position, hold tight for the board break. That is the position for knife hand inward or outward front strike. Whether you have human or machine board holder.